hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how you can create a portfolio website using chat cpt within minutes and i will also show you how you can host your portfolio website so that you can access it from anywhere and we will try to make it responsive as well so at first let's open chat cpt and if you don't have account in chat cpt you can simply create a new account so let's ask chat cpt to create a portfolio website using html css and javascript for a web developer who has experience using javascript React and Node.js and let's hit enter. So it will give you the code for HTML and separate code for CSS and JavaScript as well. Now what we have to do is open Visual Studio Code and open a new folder. In the desktop I will create a new folder with portfolio create and open that now once the project is ready we will then create a new file which will be our index.html file now let's go back to chat gpt and copy index.html go back to visual studio and paste it here save it for now once we have HTML, we then need a separate file for styles.css as well. So let's go back to our portfolio, create a new with styles.css and go back, copy the code and paste it here and save it. Now, once we have both index HTML and CSS, now what we have to do is load this HTML in our browser so to do that we will be using live server so let's go to extensions and search for live server and click on the first one there and install it once the installation is ready you'll see this go live at the bottom of visual studio so we can close that and go back to index and click on go live here you can see a simple portfolio website has been created with your name and your title and the about me section with skills and few projects. Now what we can do is optimize this. You can either do it yourself or you can ask ChatGPT to do that. For now, let's ask ChatGPT to create a meaning a responsive nav bar as well. So here in styles.css, we will add this code and we got the update html.index and main.js. So let's copy this CSS code, go back to Visual Studio and styles.css. After or before this footer, we will replace this code and save it. We need to update our index.html file as well so let's copy this code and put this somewhere after the container let's or we can put it inside header so let's put it here and give some indentation as well and save it now what we have to do is since um ChatGPT created this main.js file so we will need to create one in our project as well so let's go here and create main.js now go back to chat gpt copy the code come back to visual studio and paste it here save it here you can see that our navigation bar is ready as well now you can update 
about me section adding your info about yourself and you can update this skills section as well using whatever skills that you have and in this project section you can customize it yourself or let's ask ChatGPT to add project section as well so let's go back to ChatGPT and add to projects without images so we will add this in our index.html you'll copy this copy this code back to visual studio in our project section we will put this one just below and remove the initial one and save it let's go back to portfolio and refresh it now here you can see that project one and project two has been added and now after this project section you can also add your experience so let's go back to chat and ask it to add the experience section as well with bullet prints so let's copy this find the about section and we will replace this whole about section with the new content save it let's go back For some reason this is not in bullet points let's go back and check do i need c access let go okay so let's copy this code go back to visual studio find section on another list so do we have section on another list so we don't have it so let's simply paste it and save it and now you can see that the bullet points have been added and your work experience has been added as well so you can update this based on your own experience and the skill section we have javascript react node on projects we have our two projects that has been added now what you can do is you can add links to your linkedin or github as well so to do that let's go back to chat cpt and ask it in footer add links to linkedin and github and youtube as well so we'll copy this html and paste it remove this previous footer and paste it here save it let's go back to chat gpt and copy the css code as well little studio and let's remove the footer and paste the new one we will save that we'll open our portfolio reload it and here you can see linkedin github and youtube links has been added so you can update those links so you can add your link over here now now once your basic portfolio project is ready you then have to host this portfolio so that you can access it from anywhere right now it is just accessible in your local host so to host this website what you have to do is you have to create a github account github.com and i already have a github account so at first what you have to do is you have to create a github account it is super easy super simple what you have to do is just go to github.com and you have to sign up using your gmail account and it will ask you to set up your username and it will ask you to verify your gmails so you can do that and once you create your github account you will come to this dashboard now once you're in here what you have to do is click on your profile and go to this your repositories right now we don't have any repos so let's create a new one and we will keep this same as our project file which will be portfolio and this will be your public because you want it to be accessible from anywhere any browsers mobile or 
laptops wherever you want to access it and let's ignore everything else and create this repository now once we have our repo created what we have to do is push this all these HTML, CSS and JavaScript code to GitHub so to do that it's really simple just right click on index.html and click open in terminal so once the terminal is open what you have to type is git init and after that git status just to check what files has been changed and what needs to update to git push all these files to github then you have to type in git add dot so this dot will include all three files enter then git commit dash m this message will be first commit so you can put whatever commit message that you want and hit enter and it says three files change four insertions now what we have to do is push this file all three files to github now so to do that we simply have to git push origin rain and our three files has been pushed into github the issue that the issue that you might face while pushing it to origin main is it might ask you for your id and password for github and when you enter your github password it might say password authentication has been removed so if you get some things some messages like that then don't worry uh, i have a workaround for that so to get past that what you have to do is go to your github click on your profile click on settings and go all the way down here to developer settings personal access tokens and you can click on tokens classic once you get here you can generate a new token click on that and you can write note whatever and expiry date you can put no expiry and you have to click on all these um, options here so cl you click on all these options down here you click on everything whatever it's in here so click on all these and you hit generate token and you get a token token here so what you have to do is simply copy that token and come back to visual studio you add your username and when it says you add add your password you just copy and paste that token in that password section and you hit enter so once you do that i'm pretty sure that you'll be able to push that commit to master now the main part is to host your website so to do that you go back to your repo you select this portfolio repo that you have and go to settings and you click on pages from branch and you can put main root you can put your custom domain as well but for now we'll just leave this one as it is Let's go back to actions and let's see let's wait for this one and just like that your page is now ready so you come back to settings pages and you simply click on that link and your portfolio website is now hosted so so now you can access this portfolio from wherever you want so you just need this link so now let's open a new tab and just copy and paste it hit enter and you can see that your portfolio website is now live so that's how you create a portfolio website and host it in github now what you can do is using this link you can access it from your mobile or tablet wherever you want Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.